What's up guys and gals, I am Scruffituba, and this is Alan Wake's American Nightmare. This is the sequel to Alan Wake, um, but I don't know how directly after the first one it is. And I've already played through the first game a while back, and it was okay, it was alright, but I want to see how good this one is, so we're going to try it out. All right, it should give us like a brief, you know, like what's going on kind of thing, I would assume. Somewhere in Arizona, the Cardinal Motel. Barry Wheeler. It's like a Twilight Zone ripoff. Thanks, subtitles. The I couldn't read the subtitles the there. Of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> Live action in video games is always unsettling to me. Known only as Mr. Scratch. <laughs> I'll catch you eventually! Maybe. But what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. Sounds dirty. That's no way to treat your alter ego. I believe Mr. Scratch is Alan Wake's alter ego. Not entirely sure. The man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. In Night Springs. Well, this game is arguably pretty. Oh, look. Oh, shit. I almost fell in the water already. Don't want to die that quick. It's embarrassing. My flashlight. My greatest weapon. In Night Springs. That's normal. It happens all the time at my house. Yeah. Huh. Left trigger to boost your flashlight. To boost the flashlight, beams burn. Beam burns away the darkness. It sure does. I feel a sudden sneeze coming on. <laughs> What is that noise I'm hearing? Grab the gun is my objective. What gun? Did I miss a gun? I'm going to assume it's still ahead of me. Or maybe. Great. I missed the damn gun. It's probably back here somewhere. This camera's really sensitive. There it is! Just sitting there on the little plank. Or, uh... Oh, great. No, I don't want to play baseball with you! And now I shoot him. Okay. Pretty easy mechanics. Use the flashlight to burn away darkness. And basically that's what protects the bad guys too. So you want to burn away, like, you're basically essentially burning away their shield. So then you can shoot them. In another life, the man was a writer. 
He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. Oh, you mean like this page? My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one of them. Hi, ones. Alan. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year. Not all of us can become an overnight internet sensation. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. Okay, so I'm probably not going to read all of those, but we'll see. Depends on if they're interesting enough. I'm more interested in the actual gameplay of this. It's pretty... cool gameplay. Like with the guns and the flashlight and the enemies and the... and the creepiness. It is slightly unsettling, I'm not gonna lie. The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Well, because there's lots of light? I guess that would be a good start, actually, because the light is what protects you from the Somewhere darkness, the Earth, enemies. Space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his gravy double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Confirmed! Mr. Scratch is my evil double twin guy. That's a lot of fucking dudes. Sometimes running away is the best option. Brightly lit areas can provide a safe haven for families. Okay, so run to the building, basically, is what they're saying. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of guys up there. Stay here now. Yes! Running, running, running! Oh wow, I'm out of shape. Balls. This is the worst time ever to realize that you should have worked out more. Are there guys like right behind me? Oh, there they are. The safe haven formed by the bright light heals you. Oh. Wait a minute. That didn't. Thought that was gonna help me. Unlock weapon crates by finding hidden manuscript pages to blast and blast your enemies with serious po firepower. Oh, I need three manuscript pages. Bollocks. Okay, what? Uh, hello. Hello, hello. Oh. Oh, I like that song. Too bad I'm probably gonna have to mute this part. Hey, it's you. You remember me, right? Good, good Emma? call. Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess Because I'm the writer of this book, bitch. Listen, What's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. Stay in the light. That has been said so many times throughout the years in horror movies and other media. All right. The champion of light recognizes the page he got from the woman. I'm the champion it's of light. Weapon of his own design. <laughs> Custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. It's a lot of ammo. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Nice. Although I think I just wasted a lot of the ammo. Can I open these? Not that one. Or that one. Or that one. Or this one. Called it. Ooh, what's this? Well, here you are. About to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the boast. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Do me a mini-map on the top left-hand corner of the screen shows your current objectives. 
Locations of ammo boxes and safe havens are also shown as icons. Blinking question marks indicate a hidden manuscript page nearby. Well, none of these are freaking opening. Can I get some ice at least? Oh. What kind of asshole motel is this? Can't even use any of the damn doors to get into the... Let's see. Ah, maybe this one? The, th the three items for rewriting re... Rewriting reality. Ah, uh, those stars in the map. Okay. I was totally doing the wrong thing. Hope there's no uh, dead people up there that want to kill me. I'm just going to stay away from there for now. I see all that ammo. It, it seems like bait. Oh. Yeah, just fall into this big ass ditch and or creek that has no water in it. Wait, this? I already passed one of the stars. Damn, I was totally not paying attention. But one of them's over here too. Up here? Maybe? Ah. Huh. There we go. Oh, locked! What the hell? This one? Oh shit balls! Hello! You look friendly. It tears itself in two to avoid the hated light. What? It becomes weaker, but more numerous. Such is the arithmetic of harm. Hey, oh come on, are you kidding me? Oh! Woo! That was a dodge. Ooh, okay, down. One down. Ow! Bitch! Two down. Two more to go. Shoot you in the ass. Shoot you in the face. Alright, cool. And you're dead. Oh, win! Unless there's something else in here. That was messed up. I agree, Alan. I agree. Okay. There's totally a gun right here. <gasps> a rifle! If I can, there we go. Something tells me I'm really gonna need the extra firepower. Pick up the CD. That's one thing down. The hell do I need a CD for rewriting uh, reality with? I don't think that sentence made sense. Oh well. Whoa. Creepy noises. Knock it off. Oh god damn it, cactus scared me. Get the hell on me. Another page. And that means I can open up that uh that weapons crate back at the motel. If there's anyone over here that's gonna jump out and try to eat my face, please let me know before you jump out. I ain't got time for this shit. Oh, great. Ooh. Hello! Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. My flashlight. Oh, battery, battery. There we go. Man, I can reload a flashlight battery quick. I'm a pro at that shit. One more to go. Okay, a valve, a CD, and what the hell else? Dare I ask? What I need to rewrite, rewrite. Yep. Rewrite history, or reality. Why the fuck can I not talk? Ah, oh, I gave up. Ah. Oh, okay. So yeah, I passed it. It was over here somewhere. Maybe in the truck? I will try the back of this truck. And also pray. Oh, okay. Yeah, hi.
Oh, no, 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 no! Whoa, dodged. Like a boss, too. Oh. Man. I'm a badass with this carbine. Now, where is my item? Oh, there it is. Battery. That's everything. So, battery, a valve, and a the CD. Man's found the battery, but it is empty. What's this? It will need to be recharged. Flares. Oh. Yes. Oh, I need to recharge the battery. How am I going to do that? First of all, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a TV. Well, what's your TV doing out here? This isn't gonna be good. Mr. Scratch! Is this on? How can you tell? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with gadgets. That's cool, man. We can't all be great. Uh, that's more like it. And who might that be? I just gotta do this one thing. I like it quiet. Hmm. That acting, though. I bet you're wondering why this is happening. Why am I doing all this? Why am I so hell bent on ruining your life? Kinda. You're cramping my style. You've got money, fame, everything you could want. But you don't know what to do with Except it. that I'm out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. I'm getting all the things you never had the balls to go for. Having more fun too. Keeping a dude hostage? I don't think I've ever wanted that. Do you know the real difference between us? I'm not afraid to be the center of attention. This poor slob's just collateral damage, really. I mean, made some information out of him earlier. But this part? This is just for kicks. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, alright. Well, he just killed that dude, I, I mean... Wow, that was sadistic. I love him. Where? Oh, more flares. How many can it carry? At least four. We figured that much out. We learned maths today. Yes. Oh, I gotta bring him back to her. It would seem. I need this battery charged. No more music. No problem. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks. I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Listen, I don't know what's going to happen exactly when I do this. My memory's a little hazy. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is you don't want to come anywhere near the oil field, all right? This thing could get out of hand. In the middle of highly flammable materials. Great. I'll do my best to contain it. Just please don't turn out to be some kind of crazy terrorist guy, okay? <laughs> It's a legitimate fr uh, worry okay. right there. Go now. Wish me luck. Wait a sec. I want to ask you about something first. What did you mean with that my memory's a little hazy thing? I had a pretty rough time coming here. It was like being caught in a tsunami. I blacked out for a while. It's hard to explain. There's a, a barrier of sorts that I had to break through. I was lucky to make it here with my wits as intact as they are. So, you might have brain damage, you're about to do great things with a magic piece of paper, and you came here from another dimension? Check, check, and oh, check. I, I was just visiting another dimension. Oh, yeah, okay. My bad. That yeah, pretty much sums it all up. Remember to restock at the ammo box. But first! What do we got here? SMG. Yes, I sir. About time I went full auto. 
<laughs> was that supposed to be a one-liner? Come on, Alan. I thought you were better than that. All right, let's go. Actually, we're going to stop it here. And we'll pick it up right here. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So far, it's interesting. Um, I would like to see what actually happens, how it all plays out. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Scruffy Tuba, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be there! Yeah, Oh my god! Yep, and Freddy's in the dining area. Start off in the store now? Yes. Okay, yes, you can put that in. No, I can't wait to see how to I would have closed it immediately. Um, that's the door you just opened. Ah!